Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a lead lighting mani using the Braves Diva Ballpark Treats Collection and that You Are Beautiful 06 stamping plate. I started off with Neltix Formula 2 as my base coat and I'm sorry my camera's acting up but that is Braves Diva shut out. It's a white cream. I'm going to do that as my base color. I'm going to cap my free edge real quick. Do that first. And then now we're going to go in with our first coat of shut out. There we go. Now everybody that watches my channel should know by now that I do not like white polishes. It's just not my favorite. <clears throat> not to apply. I like to wear it. I just don't like application of white polishes. But this one's a pretty good one. I will be doing two coats today, but depending on what you're doing, you might could get away with one. And it looks pretty good so far. Hi Woody, how you doing? And here we go with our second coat of shutout. I'm able to control it. It's not all crawling down into my, you know, cuticles and sidewalls and stuff like that. So that makes it a winner for me. Plus it levels out pretty well. Just am liking it. Hi Woody again. <clears throat> I'll be topping that with some of the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to get this one to dry down so we can do some playing today. There we go. Capping that free edge. I'll be using You Are Beautiful 06 and I'm going to use this shattered looking design. My Monocle Stamper, my Clear Jelly Scraper, and Braves Diva Game Over Black Cream Polish. So I'm going to be plopping this out and putting it directly on my nails. This is what lead lighting is. It's when you stamp like this under your nails and then you fill in with jelly polishes or you know lighter colors on top. So here's the Ballpark Treats collection, all six of them. I will be using my little mat and a little bitty nail art brush. So this first one is Chiplains Fried Grasshoppers. And I guess that's appropriate because it's green. Now, this has been sitting on my mat because I've already done the other nails, so it's starting to get a little goopy, but I'm going to try to get some of this one done here. I can get at least one little bit, bitty, bitty sliver done. And I'm going to put some more out on my mat. <clears throat> I just didn't want to be wasting these. I don't want to waste any polish. So there we go. we got some fresh there, and I'm sorry I'm out of frame. I will get better. I am going to wipe off that um, brush and some acetone. And next I'll be changing over to Cotton Candy, the pink one. Now you can see what I'm doing. But this is what lead lighting is. It's the polishes when you use them, they're not so opaque that they mess up your black lines or your dark lines. You can, you know, get out of line a little bit and it's not too, um, too bad. Grape Snow Cone will be our next color. It's the purple one, of course. Grape. Um, it's almost like reverse stamping a little bit, but you're doing it directly on the nail. Now, if you were to fill this design in on your um, uh, stamper and then stamp it on, that would be reverse stamping. So, here we are with all these technical things. Next is Frozen Lemonade. But I do like it, and I know when I swatched these, I was wondering how they would do for a design like this. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, I, I do want to use it for reverse stamping also, so that I don't have to... You know, I like working on the stamper better than working on my nails. It's just easier. And next is Churro. So we are working our way through these colors. And I really do love them. I can't wait to try a gradient with these. I'm so excited. They're just beautiful. And the thing is, is they're not even showing up on camera how insanely pretty they are. The hollow effect in them to me is just perfect. I'm going to top it with some of the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. You'll get to see it come alive 
once you add that glossy top coat, it really does bump it up a notch. But you guys are not seeing what I got to see in real life. Hi, Woody. <clears throat> and then next, now that that is dry, I'm going to top it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. And this will be my Sealing Glossy Quick Dry Top Coat. Make sure to go all the way to the edge and cap that free edge down there. And there it is. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. I have a swatch photo coming up soon. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. And that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.